for those tight spaces, there's no plant better than the snake plant or the Sansevieria. And this is the Sansevieria right here, also known as the snake plant or a mother's-in-law tongue or a good luck plant and sometimes even known as a devil's tongue. So you can call it whatever you'd like, but this is it. And if you look at it really closely, I think you'll see why it's called the snake plant, because its markings, which are really very beautiful when you look at them up close, are very similar to what one might see on a snake. So there you have it. And this is a, a really super plant. It's an almost trouble-free plant. Another great plant for those people who think they can't grow plants. This is one you really can't go wrong with. Just almost forget about it. You do have to water it occasionally, but if, on, if you only did that, it would probably be happy. Now, there are a couple other interesting things I wanted to note about this. And one is the fact that it blooms. Now, you wouldn't think of a plant like this as really being a bloomer, but it is. And here you go. You can see it's, it's got white, almost trumpet-shaped flowers, and they grow up on a long spike. And every once in a while, they'll come up. And the other thing to note about it is, as much as this is a very hardy plant, it does have its Achilles heel, so to speak, only we'll call them Achilles tips because it's the tips of the plant that are very sensitive. And if you break off a tip, like this one here is broken off just a little bit, but if you do that, then the leaf won't grow anymore. This one won't get any taller than this now. It'll just stop. So you want to be a little careful about those plant tips. Otherwise, you should have no problem at all. It's a great plant. Mm -hmm.